Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. If you've been using Dynamics 365 for a while, then you're probably going to remember dialogues. Dialogues were a type of process that opened a pop-up window for users to enter data. After that, the dialogue would actually be able to do similar things as workflows, such as updating records, creating records, etc. Now, dialogues have been deprecated quite some time ago, but what if you still need this type of functionality? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Power Automate to replicate this type of behavior. For the folks that are not familiar with dialogues in Dynamics 365, which, as I mentioned earlier, have been deprecated, let me just show you what that looks like. I actually have uh, an opportunity questionnaire here. Uh, this is a dialogue, right? So I'm asking some questions. Was the NDA signed? Yes or no. Was the budget approved? Yes or no. And then I have an estimated close date. And if any of these two questions uh, we're answered with no, then I'm going to stop the dialogue. Otherwise, I'm going to update that opportunity with this estimated close date. Now, unfortunately, I cannot show you what that experience looked like if you actually would launch that dialogue here in the unified interface because, right, it's been deprecated. So I can't really show you that. If you click here on flow, you see that that's actually not uh, a workflow that I can pick from, right? Again, dialogues are no longer uh, available. But what I do have is a flow that I created, or I should say a Power Automate flow that I created that's doing something similar and even a little bit more. So let me show you what that looks like when we're using Power Automate flow for this. So again, you're going to get that pop-up window. So here we see the questions. Was the NDA signed? I'm going to say yes. Was the budget approved? I'm going to say yes. We can see there that the estimated close date currently is set to 7-2-2020. So let's update that. So let's say that's going to be the 20th. And if I scroll down a little bit further here, I'm actually able to upload a document. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here on import. I'm going to search for my NDA. And now I'm going to run that flow. And then obviously, right, this is where in that flow, you will have that logic built out in that flow of you, what you want it to do. And I'm actually, I have the flow updating my estimated close date. And then I have here a file that's that NDA that is going to be attached in here as well. But of course, if you would prefer, you know, associating that to a SharePoint doc library, you could do that as well. So let's go ahead and refresh this and now we can see our estimated close date has been updated with that date that I just selected and then here is our file the NDA PDF has been attached as well okay so now let's take a look to show you how I did that so you can just go ahead and log into Power Automate. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that Create button here on the left hand side. And we want this to be triggered manually, right, as you just saw earlier. So I'm going to click, click here on Instant Cloudflow, which again, we can trigger manually. So let me just go ahead and click on that. So you can pick from here or you can just say, I'm going to skip this because I want to go directly into that main window. Just make sure that you actually put in a name for your flow as well, right? So that you know uh, what this flow is regarding. Now, the trigger for this particular flow is when a record is selected, right? I can select an opportunity and then I can go ahead and run that flow. So let's search for that. This is obviously in that common 
data service trigger. But as you can see here, the when a record is selected, that trigger is only available by using the common data service connector. So not the current environments uh, connector that you see over here. So you got to make sure that you pick that one. And then of course, it's just signing you in here real quick. And then because obviously this is not the current environment connector, you have to set this to default. For your entity name, obviously we're running this on opportunities. So let's just go ahead and select that. And then you see that add an input option over here. So you can see there's different types of inputs that we can select from. So you can obviously do a text input, right? The user needs to type in text, yes or no, or a file input, right? We'll talk about that later. You saw how I was able to attach a file, email, a number, and date. So I'm the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my NDA sign. So I'm going to say yes or no. And I'm going to do NDA signed. And then we want to add another one. And this is probably where you want to go ahead and update or upload that file, right? You saw with me, it was at the end, but we can put it here obviously as well. So I'm going to say attach NDA PDF. And then you can see here, please select the file or image. So you can also update this text, right? Please select a PDF file to attach. And then the next one is going to be the estimated close date of that opportunity. I'm going to say close date estimated. And then I'm going to add whether or not the budget was approved. So I'm kind of mixing these questions all over, but that's fine. Budget approved. And then again, right, that is a yes or no for that. Now you have some additional options here. So for example, if I click on this, I can make this particular field required to attach that NDA. And you can see with the other one, they're already required. So I can make those optional by selecting uh, those three little dots that you see over there. Now, after this data has been entered, I want to now go in and update my opportunity. So I'm going to search for the update a record step here. And you can see here from here, I can actually use the current environment connector from here as well. If that's something that you wanted to do, right? So again, we're going to say opportunity. And the item ID is obviously coming from whichever record was selected, right? So I'm going to hit go over here and type in opportunity, right? So from when a record is selected, I want that unique ID of that opportunity. And then I want to update the estimated close date. So, and what did we call that? We call that close date and then in parentheses estimated. So again, I'm going to type in my dynamic content here, close dates. And you can see here that it is now included in that dynamic content. So this is what people are actually typing into that little window, right? That pops up. Now, if you wanted to do a check in between here as well, I can do that. So let's say I'm going to do a condition and I'm going to say, right, if they're saying the NDA isn't signed or the budget wasn't approved, right? If that equals no, I can do something. So let's just say NDA signed, right, is equal to no. At least I'm, I'm guessing that that's a no. It could be a zero or something like that as well, but we can kind of see what happens there. And obviously you can do the same thing, right? You can say, or the budget, oops, that's not what I want to do. Budget approves is equal to no, or like I said, whatever that value is. We will see that when we run the flow, but you can do something obviously like that as well. 
And then, of course, if that is true, then you're going to go through yes, so you probably want to terminate the flow or whatever you want to do. And you might want to just move this over here, right? If no, then I want to update that opportunity. So there's one more step that we want to do after this update a record step, and that's to upload that file and attach that to that opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and search for upload file. And here again, we have in the common data service current environment, the upload file or image content. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that. And again, we're going to do opportunity. The item ID is again, right, that unique ID. Let's do here opportunity. Let's see here from that when a record is selected trigger. So here's my unique identifier. Then we want to go ahead and actually select that file type of field. And I actually created my own custom field called file with obviously the type of file as well. So we can actually attach that NDA. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that particular field. And then as you can see, this is where you're going to be able to add that file or image content, which is obviously what we uploaded in that step above. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for attach. NDA PDF, that's my actual file. But what you do want to make sure you enter in here as well is that content name, right? So you can either give it a name. I'm going to say NDA dot PDF, right? Because this is going to be a PDF file. Uh, or you can just call it, you know, dot PDF. So then whatever that file is called when people are uploading it will just stay the same. And that's really all that you need to do. So now when it runs through here, right, based on the answers to the questions, if the NDA is not signed and the budget is not approved, nothing is going to happen. But obviously you could do something else. You can send an email, like whatever you want to do, right? It's just very, this is just to keep it simple here. But if this statement is not correct, then it's going to update that opportunity and it's going to attach that file. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.